All right, Pisces, let's do a reading. This is going to be for Pisces and your love interest for the weekend, whether you are together or separated. Let's get one message, please, for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Jupiter placements. This could be dealing with any sign. This is not sign specific, y'all. Um, <clears throat> keep in mind that these messages may or may not resonate with you. If you find that these messages do resonate with you, then great. If they don't, then let them go. All right, we have, when you pass from this world, you will take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. And then for your person, we got sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. Okay. Show me the pictures. Hmm. So let there be closest, closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows. So, hmm. all right, Pisces, there could be distance in between you and the person on your mind. Um, hmm. I don't know what this is trying to say. I feel like... Um, this is going to be a different reading. I feel like this is, this is like, I don't know who the hell is bumping music so loud, but, um, I don't know. I'm getting the energy of like, y'all may not be together, but it's like cherish the moments or the memories that you've shared with this person, but don't hold on to something or someone too tightly. All right, so let's get some cards from the Andromeda Skies. Hmm, interesting read. Okay, so we've got You Are the Love of My Life. This has been coming out lately for y'all. Um, I am intimidated by you. I wish I could take it back. Whatever it is, I was pretending to be someone else. And I find you incredibly attractive, hence the sexual union energy out here. <clears throat> Hmm. Twin flame. You are always on my mind. Well, Pisces. I'm wondering, I'm getting like, there may be a tense physical attraction here. Or your person may be like super attracted to you. But there's something here that I'm almost getting the energy of like something in the energetic how do I say this? Something in the energetic, whatever, blank, can't find the words. It's almost like this person may be only available to entertain an intimate connection. And that would be it at this energetic moment. Okay. There's something here that I wish that I wish that this person wishes that they could take back or you wish you could take back. I feel like with this, when you pass from this world, there is nothing, uh, there's, you take nothing with you, but your soul and the memories that you've shared. So this is kind of like, this is weird. This is, I was not expecting to go into this reading like this, but I'm getting the energy of like, spirit is wanting you to know, <clears throat> cherish the memories that you've shared, um, or try to make the best out of a situation or the positive memories try to remember the positive things ultimately that's all you take with you when we go um now this may be someone who damn really this is what's going on here this is like um mm, y'all ain't gonna like this but this is like this this um for whoever i just tapped into I don't know if you think this person is the love of your life or they feel this way about you, but it's almost like yo, I don't even feel like I want to say it, but I don't know. This is like when you leave from this world, all you take with you is, is the memories and the love that you've shared. 
Now, if this person, um, I feel like there's some type of like, an intimate connection, an intimate bond, or some type of like physical, something here is physical. And you may be wanting something more from that situation. That's deep. Because I'm like, you can't take material shit, or even if you were wanting to build with this person or do something with this person, that's still making memories. So how is that like? I'm almost getting like, cher cherish what, the, what it is that you have gotten out of this connection, but understand that that's all like, at least energetically, that's all it is now. Like, this may not be something that is, like, everlasting. This may not be, like, your husband, your wife, you, your one you build a family with or any of that stuff. This may be just something that's, like, you're supposed to experience it with the very lighthearted, carefree type of energy of, hey, this isn't going anywhere, but let's make some memories. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Pisces. This isn't going to be everybody's reading. All right. What is the hidden truth here between Pisces and the person on your mind? I feel you, even though we are apart. So you got twin flame on the bottom of the deck. So you make, oh, you got, I love you. I wish I could share my good news with you. I'm not taking these. I know I messed up everything and I wish I could take my words back. So there is someone here who I do, I do feel is, in, you know, sitting in a little bit of guilt, wishing that they could take something back, but they can't. Um, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Oh. So before I came on here, I was like, I'll use this deck. And then I kind of second guessed myself. Because I was like, some of these visuals in this deck can bring out different stuff. But this is a different reading, so maybe I'll just go with it. All right, show me Pisces overall energy. Show me Pisces overall energy, please. Single jumping cards only. What is Pisces overall energy, please? In this situation. The Emperor, Aries energy. You could be a father, you could be a boss, a CEO. Someone in a position of power. Remember the person that Pisces is dealing with? Three pentacles. So I don't know if this is someone who you work with. Oh my. Show me Pisces emotions. Yeah, this could be someone who you were working together with. <clears throat> Possibly high priestess in your emotions. So you could be staying silent, keeping things to yourself, focused on, you know... Your stability, your security. You may have a lot of, and you know, you could be someone who's highly intuitive. Obviously, a lot of Pisces are. In your emotions, so I feel like you're keeping something to yourself. You're keeping something to yourself. Show me this person's emotions. <clears throat> this is like you staying in control of a situation by keeping your emotions to yourself is helping you feel in control in some way, Pisces. Show me this person. This could be someone who you have hidden emotion for as well. Show me this person's emotions. The moon. Well, <laughs> y'all mirroring each other or what? Pisces, Cancer energy, both y'all high in your shit, high in your emotions. Are you this person's boss? Is this your coworker? Or is this like your employee or something? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. What did I just tell me to do? Shit. Okay. Show me Pisces next move. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I just heard someone say, but 
I'm their boss daddy. So if someone here in my, please say I, just put a hand. Because I literally heard that. I'm boss daddy. You little naughty. You little naughty you. <laughs> this shit got me cheesing. All right, show me Pisces next move. The Empress. Damn, are you married? Oh my. Your next move is growth, fertility, abundance. Um, but why do you have the masculine and the feminine unless it's just an equal balance of both? Show me this person's next move. Ooh, am I? I like doing different readings. It's challenging. It's fun. I get tired of reading the same shit, so whatever. I'm down with it. Okay, two of pentacles. Three of pentacles, two of pentacles, and the moon. Whoever this is that you're dealing with, two of pentacles. I don't know it's almost like they're trying to make a decision here trying to use their intuition when it comes to making a decision they could be a little bit up and down back and forth i don't know they could be playing or toying with the thought or idea of something show me pisces intentions with this person oh i'm not going to take those but the hermit mm. What is Pisces intention? Single card. Four of swords. So either to take a break. I kind of seen that too with the seven of pentacles and the um, hermit. So Pisces, and again, roles can be reversed. So don't take this message if it's not for you, but this is for someone out there. I feel like someone here is kind of like reflecting on a situation, thinking about a situation. Um, taking a break, taking a time out. What is this person's next, or intentions? Excuse me. What is this person's intentions? <clears throat> Sets of coins and two of coins. So I don't know who, but I feel like there's... I don't know if it's you, Pisces, or this other person, but to me, it seems like there's someone here who has someone else. I don't know if you're wanting to pursue this person and make them your wife, but you're keeping that hidden, or this person is secretly giving to two and they're hiding that. Either way, I feel like this is someone who you may work with or co-parent with or something to that nature. Show me the outcome between these two. And I both and I feel like both of you are kind of like keeping your emotions to yourself. This could be someone who's giving to you or you're giving to. Judgment. the outcome three cups to a sword showing itself 
the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Six of Cups. There could be someone here. There could be delays. Yeah. There could be delays here when it comes to making a judgment call or a decision on a situation. I don't know if someone's waiting on the past or waiting on someone from their past, but some where something here feels stagnant or someone is... Um, There's definitely uh, an energy of mys mysticism, mysteriousism <laughs> about this reading. I was pretending to be someone else. So Pisces, either you're in a full committed relationship and you could have been on a break from someone and you secretly have emotions for someone else. For some, this is someone in your past. You may have been going back and forth or this person's going back and forth. Give me this person's next move. Why is it the two of pentacles? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I feel like someone may be going back and forth with the idea or the thought of having starting something new, having a new beginning. Here, judgment. Show me judgment. This can also be someone who's making a head over heart decision. I'm going towards new love. Now, if this is someone that you're juggling, this person may know that. Show me the six of coins. So there, this person's intentions is to be generous or giving to either a maternal figure, to a mother, to a wife, a baby mama. Are you this person's baby mama? Why is the emperor here? For Pisces overall energy. Queen of Cups. Are you? Who baby mama are you, Pisces? Give me one more on this Emperor. Actually, show me this High Priestess. I feel like that's pretty clear, though. Um, <clears throat> oh, as I say, that's pretty clear. I literally get the illusion card. Who's doing what here? Like, this is not cool. The secrets here could be that you have other options. That you could also know intuitively that you're just an option, Pisces. So I don't know who's like doing what. But I do see like love, nurturing. I also see authority on each side of this coin. So it's like.
Show me this person. Why is it, why do they got the moon? The five of pentacles. What's the five of pentacles? The world in the reverse. So this is like someone, whoever this other person is, it's like they feel they're in their emotions in some way or they're keeping it to themselves. They're hiding it. Um, they could be confused as well a little bit. They may feel left out in the cold because they feel like there's something here that there's unfinished business with. There's a situation where someone feels abandoned, left out in the cold, maybe due to some type of secrets here or something that was hidden or some type of an illusion that was created. But someone also feels like, no, I'm not. Get out. Sorry. She tries to go up in my desk. I have another desk over there. She like tries to go up in there and do bad things. All right. Yeah, someone feels like there's unfinished business, but they're definitely feeling like abandoned or neglected or left out in the cold. And they're not saying this. Someone here may also be like toying with the idea on whether or not they want to like communicate some type of truth in order to have a new beginning. If this person was like with their intentions, the six of, uh, six of coins and the empress, I don't know if this person was like, yeah, this person was intending to go back and forth between their wife or between a mother figure or a baby mama. Like this person may have their intentions maybe was to like, give to two different situations that's crazy Some of you at Pisces, whoever you are, I feel like you're taking a charge of your own life. Okay, the Queen of Cups, self-love, self-care. You may intuitively know that you are just an option here to this person. Sorry to say it like that. Your next move is this Empress, though, so it's like... But if you notice this Empress and this Empress, it's like... One person is, you know, depleted. Everything is pale. Everything is just like white and blonde. And this one, there's all this color and vibrancy. So it's like, I don't know if you were giving to a situation that you don't get back in return. Sorry about that, Pisces. That's why this wheel is in reverse. Something's not moving forward. There's some type of delays. Someone could also be waiting on someone's forgiveness, waiting on a reconciliation. But something's not moving forward. With the hangman, someone here feels stuck. Someone's caught in the past, hung up on the past, stuck in the past, waiting on the past, missing someone. Why is judgment here? Eight of Cups. Yeah, someone's making a final decision to disconnect emotionally from a situation because I feel like something here is just like... non-conducive. Show me judgment. The Eight of Cups, or the Five of Cups, excuse me. Someone here is definitely feeling sad and regret, ashamed. I think I said that somewhere earlier.
the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, please. Eight of Swords. Yeah, someone's stuck. Something's not going forward. Someone's like stuck in their mind, stuck in regret, stuck in guilt, feeling trapped, bound. Someone could even be feeling stuck like due to karma, some type of negative karma. If somebody did something, what did we have? Um, I wish I could take it back. Yeah, someone's stuck. That could even be someone's karma for whatever has happened here is being like feeling judged, feeling ashamed, feeling regret. That's terrible. Seven of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like someone's waiting on some type of investment. Waiting on some type of finances or status. Someone could even be waiting on commitment from someone that they're never going to get. Someone could just be stuck in a neg negative pattern. Someone could be having negative thoughts. It is Mercury retrograde, so... That could definitely be influencing something here. Someone could also be feeling restricted due to like some type of a, a out of someone's control setbacks, like karma, you know? Like something here is out of someone's control. The Eight of Swords can be like feeling Feeling like your hands are tied. And with the wheel and the fortune in the reverse, it's like delays, setbacks. Um, lack of forward movement. Why is the six of cups here? Man, so much for a happy reading, right? Hmm. Ten of Wands, Seven of Swords, Queen of Swords. Yeah, someone's burdened by their own, like, sneaky behavior. Like, someone is feeling weighed down. Why do these cards keep going on the floor today? <sighs> High Priestess in the reverse. When I pick it up, Five of Swords. Someone here was doing something underhanded. They weren't using their intuition, okay? Some secrets may have came out as well about some type of sneaky underhanded behavior. Okay, maybe this happened in the past already. Six of coins is someone was given to someone else in the past or someone was given to two. Someone could have also been given to a past person. Something may have to deal with children as well. Show me the hanged man. Hanged woman, really, but. Four of Wands, so I don't know if someone's stuck in a marriage or someone's getting caught in a home. Two of Swords, someone here has divided loyalties, point blank period. Like there could be some type of a twin flame union. I don't know if it's even with this person. Whoever you're dealing with may Two of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and what was this? The Moon. Yeah, someone someone could be hiding the fact that they're juggling, working together with someone else, juggling you with someone else, giving to someone else. Yeah, some of you guys know that you're an option here, Pisces. Or maybe this is the illusion, but your intuition was telling you something. You may not be speaking at this time with this High Priestess Four of Swords to whoever this person is. 
king and king and uh i mean fuck emperor and empress energy here pisces you could be some type of a business owner someone who's very like an authoritative figure in some way man or woman doesn't matter but when it, the empress is like someone who's full of growth and fertility and love and abundance and blah, blah, blah. But in this card, she doesn't look like that. So you could be doing good when it comes to like some type of structure and discipline in your life. But when it comes to like the fertility of growing something, I feel like you feel drained or depleted of, of, your, of your vibrancy in some way. You have a lot of love to give, I feel like. But there's something here I feel like you could feel drained by. That could be the Four of Swords too. Like maybe that's why you're needing to take a break. Like a mental vacay. For some of you guys, you may not be seeing something clearly. I don't know because High Priestess is in the upright. So it's like... There could even be some type of an illusion surrounding you being a side piece or a side mister or mister woman or man or like there's some type of smoke and mirrors here that's not quite clear. Although intuitively, I feel like you know that. So I don't know, Pisces. What's this King of Pentacles energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? The Knight of Swords. What is the Knight of Swords? Hmm. There could be some type of a truth bomb. <laughs> This King of Pentacles may be waiting on communication or this is the tower. Yeah, the tower is that someone here is already invested into a commitment. And someone may be getting the truth, and that could come as a shock. Okay, but somebody is like already in a Ten of Pentacles situation. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they got the Ten of Pentacles on their side. They got Eleven Pentacles on their side. Yeah, it's like they got the Ten of Pentacles and then they got one pentacle to give. I hate to even say this, Pisces, but someone's karma is going to, like... Whoever did whatever, like, that knew what they were doing. I also feel like someone didn't see your worth. And I hate to say it like that, but... Or your value. Yeah, someone's karma is like being stuck in a situation they feel like they can't get out of experiencing some type of setbacks or delays with forward movement. 
for doing whatever was done here. All right, I don't even think this is appropriate. Let me get a different deck. Can I get three cards, please, for Pisces? I do feel like there's, like, emotions here between you and whoever this person is. But y'all both, like, mirroring each other. So I don't know if this is a twin, a false twin, or whatever you guys want to call it. But this is, like, oh, my gosh. What was I saying? Mirror. It's like you guys are mirroring each other. You guys are both hiding your emotions for one another. For whatever reason, mirroring each other, self-image relationships reflect our wounds. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, wanting to date, not to date, not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person, boundaries, and still angry. So some, like I said, Pisces, you could be silent. You may not be speaking with this Four of Swords and this High Priestess. Some of you guys have learned a, a lesson about self-love here as well. Because this person didn't see your value. This person wanted to keep giving back back and forth and expect for that to be enough for you. Keep you stuck in some type of fucking illusion here. Someone's going to experience some type of negative karma. And there is some type of, I don't know, the five of pentacles in the world. It's like there is some type of unfinished business here. This can also be someone who, with the world in the reverse, it's like lack of success. Someone could lose a lot financially. And that's why a cycle is remaining open because someone here feels like they will lose a lot or they'll be homeless or something if they close a cycle out in one area of their life. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave this reading here. Uh, let me know if it resonates. Smash that thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.